Hey, Sam from Dan Talk, Real Talk, so let's talk. I've been struggling and you probably noticed it because I've been not myself and I haven't been posting as regularly. I feel I'm at a crossroads. I struggle uh, a lot to understand why people have problems talking about sex. Uh, it seems to be some big taboo thing and I would have thought that we would have come up to a different, a different, sorry, and a better way of thinking about it by now. Surely to God, we're all old enough to understand uh, that sex is not a taboo thing. None of us would be here if someone didn't have sex. And that's about as straight as it is. And the varieties are, to me, a person's preference. And there's something that people wanna know about. So at least I know I do, and I've always wanted to know. So it's like going to, um, you know, go to get pizza. I don't want anchovies on mine, but you want it on yours. And I want pepperoni and you want hot sausage and you want extra cheese and I want black olives. So the varieties are the same. It's the same. It's it, what I don't understand is the amount of judgment people have towards people who talk about sex. Now for myself, uh, to be straight with you, I honestly, when I say this, I mean it. I honestly fear for people who think that way. Um, whether it's social media, whatever it is, you have a right. I have a right to talk about anything that I want to, as long as it doesn't breach these guidelines, which again, I have questions about, um, because we can hurt animals and that's okay, but we can't talk about having missionary sex. So I get a little messed up with that. I also will tell you that I think people are really full of shit. You need to figure it out. Sex is important in your life. Some people have lives that are totally sexless. That is their decision, their desire. And if that's the case for you and it works, then you know what? By all means, knock yourself out. But not everybody feels that way. I just want to continue bringing some light subjects that can be in the dark sometimes. And I, I know sometimes I feel offended a little bit, even though you, I try not to take it personally by some of the comments I get because they're so bad. There was one girl or woman on there who, you know, blah, blah, blah. No one, I am never going to say everyone should have an affair. But what I am going to say is sometimes it comes down to that. And it's all about communication. It's all about the dedication to making it work. You get one shot at life. That a very uh, sad revelation today where someone that I considered a friend uh, passed away at a very young age. And I can guarantee you she did not know that she was going to die that quickly. And uh, the point is, make sure you take advantage of the time that you have to take care of everything that you want to. And that includes your sexual life. Diane from Diane Talk, real talk, real talk. I'll get into uh, sex in a different way. I'll get back to it on Thursday. And I appreciate you understanding. I'm just a little off today. Have a wonderful night. Bye.